7 times 0 unit minus 2 times 5 unit. That is 70 minus 25. Now if you notice the sum and the units column, you cannot subtract 5 from 0. So we will untie 110 from 710. Now 7 times 0 units is as same as 6 times 10 units. Now 10 units minus 5 units is 5 units. 6 times minus 2 times is 4 times. Which means 7 times 0 units minus 2 times 5 units is equal to 45. Or 70 minus 25 is 45. Subtraction by untying a 10. Now, look at the subtraction below. Here we have 3 tens and 4 units and we have to subtract 8 units. Now, you cannot subtract 8 from 4. So, we'll untie 1 ten from 3 tens and on the unit side, we'll add that 1 ten. It will turn out to be 14 units. Now, 3 times 4 units is equal to 2 times 14 units. So, now we have 2 times 14 units minus 8 units. 14 minus 8 is 6. And 2 minus 0 is 2. So, 34 minus 8 is 26. Suppose 51 means 5 10 rupee notes and a single rupee. 24 rupees are to be taken away. Now as 4 cannot be subtracted from 1, what we can do is we can get change for 10 rupee note as 10 1 rupee coins. So now we have 4 note of 10 rupees and 11 coins of 1 rupees. Let us see the subtraction now. So that means it is 5 tens 1 unit minus 2 tens 4 units. We have to subtract 24 from 51. Now 4 cannot be subtracted from 1 so we will untie 1 ten from 5 tens. It will be 4 tens 11 units. 11 minus 4 is 7. 4 minus 2 is 2. So the answer is 27. When we subtract 24 from 51, we have 27 left. Let's do the following subtraction in the same way. Now here we have 8 times 2 units minus 2 times 8 units. Now you cannot subtract 8 units from 2 units. So we will untie 1 ten from 8 tens. Now 8 times 2 units is same as 7 tens 12 units. Well 12 minus 8 is 4. 7 minus 2 is 5. So, 82 minus 28 is 54.